welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 3.29 of chapter 3 and the statement of it is an important factor in solid fuel is the particle size distribution significant problems occur if the particle sizes are too large from production data in the past it has been determined that the particle size in micrometers distribution is characterized by this f of x which is 3 x raised to the power minus 4 for x greater than 1 and 0 elsewhere okay so what do we have to find out on the basis of all these data we have three options a b and c and we have to find the answer of each of them okay so in first part of this question we have to verify that this is a valid density function okay so let me start the solution of it so in solving it let me have this is part a and in order to verify it what do we have to do we have to see that whether in this range which is x greater than 1 whether this function converges to 1 or not okay if this function which is here in this one if it converges to 1 then it would be a valid distribution or valid density function okay so let me start it now here and here in order to do so we have this function and i want to integrate it within this range so it's it is starting from one because x is greater than one so it is starting for from one because this is a continuous function and will end at infinity because x is greater than one it goes to infinity as well okay now at the end of it i have to write x dx which is what i have to integrate it now let me put their values and here putting their values what i will get it will be one infinity and the value of f of x is 3x minus 4 dx okay so now let me solve it 3 is the constant so it will come out of this integration so now 1 infinity x of minus 4 dx okay so now integrating it what i will get here i will get uh, 3 multiplied by x minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3 divided by minus 3 and it is from 1 to infinity okay these two will cancel out and here we will get minus x minus 3 and here 1 infinity okay let me put their values the ranges we have here so putting these ranges here what i will get here x of minus 3 or 1 over x of 3 so it will become infinity cube and similarly from it i have to subtract this one so putting the value of 1 here as well what i will get 1 over 1 of 3 okay why is it because here this x of minus 3 can also be written of x cube okay so it can also be written here like this one so now solving it what i will get this 1 over infinity is 0 and this 1 over 1 is 1 so ultimately from here i will get 1 which means that this is a valid density function and from it we have found out that this one is equal to 1 okay so now similarly going to part b of it so part b here and we have to evaluate f of x or what we have to evaluate the cdf from it so it will be f of x and here i have to integrate it from the limit or the lower limit to any other point let me take it as x okay and for it i have to change the domain of my function and here i am changing it from x to t and what i will get here i will get t minus 4 and dt okay from here what i will get going through the same process whatsoever we have done here i will get here minus t of minus 3 and here i will have 1 and x okay and going through all these processes and putting these ranges here what i will get here i will get x minus 3 and then here putting 1 i will get here 1 or ultimately 1 minus x of minus cube okay this is what we have here and that is what 
that is for x greater or equal to 1 okay so that is what the solution of part b okay and here we can also see that what about the ranges which are less than 1 so for x less than 1 it will be what it will be 0 okay so that is also another range here we have so let me also put it here as well and this is for what this is for this f of x okay so i have found out the value of cdf from it as well okay so in order to solve part c of it let me move down somehow and here i have to find out that what is the probability that a random particle from the manufactured fuel exceeds 4 micrometers okay in order to do so what i have to find out i have to find out that the probability that x is greater than 4 okay what can how can i find it out i can basically find it out from f 1 minus f of 4 okay and the reason i have told you before it and that is because of let me have here this f of x okay and here we have x and here we can see that here if this these are the densities okay and if i want to find out let me have here the area here we have uh, four and all these areas these are what these are greater than four okay and all of these areas which are let me use here this uh, yellow color okay all of these areas are what these are all less than four okay so here we can see that this is the area what we want to find out so here all these will give me one okay because this will converge here to one and in order to find from it this area what we can do here here this is the accumulated probability function so therefore from one i can subtract this area and i will get the whole one which is here okay so that's why i have used this one here okay you can see that why i have used here because this four is what this is the area here and this one is the total area here and i want to find out here this one okay so from this function i can easily find it out so let me put their values so here it will be one minus this f of four which is greater than one here so let me put their values here and it will be one minus the value of x is now four 4 minus 3 okay so now opening it what i will get 1 minus 1 plus 4 minus 3 these two will cancel out and here i will get 4 minus 3 or 1 4 3 so it will be 1 over 64 okay so that is what that is the solution of part c what we wanted to found okay so that's it for today and the essence of these type of question is not to go through all the questions again and again but to let you know that what is the essence of the questions like this one how can you use the probability density function the cumulative distribution function and all these things to find out the essence of the real world problems okay so i think it's enough for today if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon